Hello, this video will show you how the snow falling video works. There isn't a lot to it. Um, some people have described it as the game of life. It has similar aspects to that. Um, some people have commented about different online sites or games, Noita, Sandbox, etc. They all have a similar concept and it is Hopefully, once I show you this video, you will uh, you will see how easy the concept is. All right, so imagine that each one of these is a different frame. Top left, we have frame one. In this frame, we've placed three pixels on the screen at random places. At the next frame, the first thing it's going to do is pick a random direction for those pixels. In this case, it moved down into the left, for this one straight down, and this one down into the right. This frame shows the new position of those pixels. All we're going to do is rinse and repeat that same process. So now we're going to go down to the left again. This one chose to go down to the right, and this one's choosing to go straight down. And this is just picking a random direction. Here's that new position of those pixels. Again, down to the left. This time it looks like it's going down to the right, and then down to the left. Each one of these frames is doing the same thing. And so if we follow that through, we're essentially going down and we're doing place the pixels, pick the next position, repeat that process. And as that goes down, this would be the trail that those snowflakes would leave behind. Let's take a quick look at the code. So here, if we run this, we can see that We've got the snow falling. And then we can do all the normal stuff. We can increase it. I can spawn it in myself. I can slow it back down, turn it off, whatever. So how does the code work? So if we start at the top, this is using the OLC Pixel Game Engine, which is a wrapper around OpenGL. OLC stands for One Lone Coder. It is not my library. It is written by Javix9C. I'll put a link to his channel in my description. Again, it's just a wrapper for OpenGL to make doing pixel um, pixel art or games with direct pixel manipulation easier to do. It's good for uh, learning and testing and just goofing around. So the game really starts down at the bottom. We'll get down there first. We're constructing a screen that's 256 pixels across by 250 pixels high, with each pixel being four real pixels on the monitor, so that it is essentially blowing it up four times in all directions. First thing it does when the screen is created is it spawns 25 snowflakes. That's what you see when the screen first starts. Then after that, the on user update code is executed and um, you can do a few different actions. You can left click to spawn new snowflakes, right click to remove snowflakes, press the up arrow to increase the number of snowflakes spawned every frame, press down arrow to decrease that, or you can press R to reset the screen. When it's drawing the screen snow, all it's doing is looping over all the pixels on the screen and drawing from memory the grayscale value of that pixel. Down here is where we are animating it. This is the actual moving of the snow. So it's it's confined to a frame rate that is just generically picked by me, so that way the snow doesn't move down the screen too fast and look abnormal. I kind of picked a, a time frame that looks like snow. Um, so let's go into each one of those. Spawn the snow at the spot. So to spawn the snow, all it's going to do is pick a random grayscale color between uh, 126 and 250. Um, see, 8, 6, 254, I guess. So it's not the highest possible white, um, but it's not the darkest possible black either. Um, when it moves the snow down, here is where it's picking the random direction. So it's either going to go down and left because it's going to subtract one, straight down because it's not subtracting one, or down and right because it's adding one. That's all it's doing. 
So again, it is going to pick a place for the pixels. It's going to move down and left, move down, or move down and right. And it's just going to repeat that process forever. That's the simple logic of the game or the program. That's it. Hopefully that helps out. Links will be in the description. You'll have access to the code on GitHub. And I'll link the, um, the person's library as well. All right, thanks.